All right, biggest fight week of your career, biggest fight of your career, you're fighting for a belt. Tell me how you feel I coming feel into this week. Has it been a dream come true at this point? Definitely, it's been amazing this entire experience. I'm just soaking it all up and uh, very focused, very, uh, very calm. The calm um, before the, the storm. Calm before the storm, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is also your first fight in the United States, yeah? Yeah. Is that it something is. that's cool for you? Or, I mean, of course. Yeah. It's always been a dream for me to, to come and, you know, showcase my abilities in the States because uh, not many people from the States know me, so it's amazing. I mean, I'm assuming your goal, obviously, is that after Friday night, a lot of people are going to know who you Definitely. are. Definitely. Yeah. Um, does it make a difference that you're fighting in kind of in the, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma compared to, like, New York or... LA, are you just glad to be, you don't care, you just Everybody want to be Everybody start somewhere, I just, mm -hmm. I don't care where to fight, I just want to fight. Were, um, were you surprised that they called you to give you a title shot, or were you expecting it? I was expecting it, yeah. 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 You cannot be 6-0 and in Bellator and not receive a title fight, because uh, I know Julia was really hungry for a fight, she hasn't been active for a year and a half approximately, so. Tell me um, a little bit about the training camp when you're getting ready to fight somebody that hasn't, like, like her, that hasn't lost in a long time, and you know, the women that she's lost to are two of the best to ever do it. Um, do you train any differently than, than you train for any other fight? No, not really. I, I did train for five, five minute rounds during the entire uh, fight camps mm -hmm. prior to that. So um, it's not really uh, any new to me. But, um, you know, I'm traveling back and forth from the UK, tra training with Brad Pickett and uh, my Israeli coach, Moshe Kedar. So I'm doing two weeks in and out of the country all the time. So. Uh, it's been a very brutal um, path, but I'm, I, I feel very cohe like cohesively, everything is perfectly together. So you'd be two weeks in London, and then you'd be two weeks back? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. And how, how many months on end did you, did you do that? Almost a year. Wow. Almost a year. Yeah. I mean, how long did it take you to be tired of having to get on a plane every two weeks? It's just, it is what it is, till I find a, an option to uh, make uh, a permanent arrangement because I, I really want to train with Brad as much uh, as possible. So, uh, talk to me a little bit about Julia and, and what she brings to the table. We know she's the champ, and we know she's good at finishing people. Um, but what in particular did, did you kind of prepare for with her? She's very well rounded. I know she's going to try to strike. I know she's going to try to grapple. So, I'm well rounded as well. So I'm going to be prepared to everything she's got. Um, if you started to think at all about that moment and what it might feel like to get your hand raised and get a belt. Definitely. Underneath. It's all I'm thinking about. Very it's, a, it's a regular day yeah. for you? Yeah. I, I did a photo shoot with a belt. I felt it on my on my body. Like I, I crave it so much more now. It's uh, it's realistic now. She is uh, she's the betting favorite and I know a lot of fighters don't look at that kind of stuff. But do you feel like a lot of people might be overlooking you and, and overlooking, you know, your chance to to walk home with that belt? Definitely, but I feel very comfortable and very calm being an underdog. I've been there with Cindy Dandwa, they gave me like 8% of a chance of winning and I still dominated the fight, so I'm just striving to get better all the time. I just, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm very, I'm very fine being an underdog. If you had a particular way to get it done on Friday, a particular way to, to win your first Bellator title, what would that be? Ideally, it's going to be a knockout, but I'm fully prepared for a five, five-minute round, uh, whatever it takes to get the belt.